Hello everybody, I'm John Zadar, AKA The Stock Wizard. This is Thursday, February 3rd, and you're watching On Top and Hot. These are brought to you by our Discord group, Titan Trading. We like to talk about OTC and penny stocks, NFTs and cryptocurrencies. If this is of interest, come join us. We'd love to have you there. So on this show, I take a look at OTC and penny stocks, and I try to find things that have value or at least are interesting. And today, I found two stocks that are very interesting. They were climbing today, and I don't think they were supposed to climb. I don't think the news was understood properly. I think people presumed more than they did DD, and that's why they rose. And I capitalized on one of them, and this is probably going to happen more than once. So I'm going to show you what I found today and see what you think about it. So the first one we're going to take a look at is TVCCF. That is 3VI Copper Core. And we're doing our initial due diligence on the OTCMarkets.com website simply because it's never outdated. The SEC and FINRA update the information on this site every day. And it's free to use. You don't have to be a member. So you come here, you get your information right the first time. Why go to Google and get all that old information you have to sort through? So we are looking at 3VI Copper. She finished the day at 0 0.0736, just about 7.5 cents with a tremendous 170% gains at the end of the day. She is on the OTC QB, that is the middle tier, the better tier of the OTC market, and she just uplisted there. She just got there. And to get there, you have to have a minimum price of a penny and start auditing your financials. No more do we just take your word for the numbers. Now they're factual and actual by a CPA. The company has got a verified profile, transfer agent. They're in good shape. They're even penny stock exempt. Now that means they've got enough money in the bank and they've been in business long enough not to be a risk. They're all grown up. They get their privileges as adults. They don't have to follow all the rules as a penny stock does. So that is a good thing to see. So this company basically mines copper. That is it in a nutshell. And they've had news. They've had news just a couple days ago and they had news today. Now, the first news was very impactful. Made the stock drop hard. And then today's news, well, it was also impactful and made the stock rise. And I could see a gap fill. And that's pretty much what I played today. I did play this stock. However, <laughs> it seems to me that both pieces of news are the same. Bad news. But the second one was written more with a smile and happier tones. And I don't think it was received properly. So I'm not sure the stock had a right to grow today. In either case, it did. So what was the relative volume around this company today? Well, she did about eight times as much as normal from about 200,000 to 1.8 million. Not a bad jump for miscommunication. Her share structure, 110 million. Not a great share structure, but you know, it's average, it's in there. We don't have any financials. I do believe being a foreign company out of Canada, I do believe it is, they're filing up in that region. But all we're really interested in is that news. So we got three pieces of news here. All came out this year. The first one was about their uplisting to the OTCQB. Congratulations. Then we have the second piece of news. We've got now this first piece of news came out January 24th and it's the bad news. They jump into it by just reaming Mr. Don Gabriel here for not doing his job right. He didn't get enough or and because he failed to do his job, the whole company has suffered and they can't even meet their projections. And everything else here is just saying we got to shut down now. We got to shut everything down because of this man. However, MT has chosen to temporarily halt the start of the block caving operation as the expected cash flows are not sufficient to fully support the ramp up of Pompano during 2022. The company is now retracting its revised preliminary operating outlook. To further preserve liquidity, MTV has also temporarily suspended exploration. Boom! That was the bad news. And then there's this piece of news that came out today, February 3rd, which has been, well, we can call it the good news because it made the stock rise. But honestly, it's, it's more like a yo-yo. They say something good, then they say something bad. They say something good, then they say something bad. But it's all about the same thing. Look, the company's focus is to bring the Pompano Block Caving Mine into production during 2022. 
that sounds good. After discussions, MTV has chosen to temporarily halt the start of the block caving operation to ensure Pompano is preserved until such time that the company MTV and its senior lenders finalize a solution to begin to ramp up Pompano as soon as possible. A lot of if, ands, and buts in there, this, that, and the other thing. Then they go on to say discussions with the senior secured lenders are ongoing, and collectively, the company, NVD, the secured lenders, agree that it is in each party's best interest to ensure that Pompano comes into production responsibly. They're making it sound like they're going to do it, but they're saying, we need to take our time. We need to go at this slowly. MTV has engaged consultants to undertake a technical optimization study in respect to Pompano. Drag it out. And we reiterate their commitment to restarting the operations in Pompano. So I really don't see that they've said they're going to restart anything. They've just said, we all agree that we want this to start. We haven't got the funding for it to start, but we are engaging studies because, well, we do want you to think we're doing something. I really can't tell, but it's big folks. It's big. Their mining complex is 46,000 hectares. A hectare is about one and a half times a football field, roughly. So it gives you an idea how much area that they're covering. So you had the bad news. You had the good news seemingly. Let's go look at the chart and see how it all plays out. So we're over at my favorite charting platform for now because it's free. I got it at TD Ameritrade. You can too. Just sign up for an account. Keep it open. You don't actually have to trade with them. No money needed. And you can use this just like I do. We are looking at TV CCF six month, four hour chart. She has been running downhill with a bump here and there, but for the most part under the 200. She hit a low bubble. I mean, goodness gracious. There's nothing even there. It's kind of hollow. She fell hard, very hard and come over which is really why we're here because that drop right there was the bad news day bad news has gone sideways until today and she has started to recover now she started here at about uh, two and a half cents and she fell from 15 cents so you're looking at almost 600 700 percent gains just to get back to where she fell from let's come in on that five minute uh, let's go 10. 10 day. There you go. Now I'm going to fill this in so it's a little easier to see. We're going to use these Haishin, Haiken Hashi candles there. You can see that better, right? Okay. And we'll bring this line down just a wee bit and put that right there. So that's where her recovery would be. She fell from here. She's going to want to get back up to there. So right now we are at about seven cents. She has gone about 50% of her way back up. It doesn't look like it, but that's kind of the way it plays out. So we have a great drop, no activity at all. And then on, I'm not sure if the news is good or bad, folks. And I'm not sure if this is going to make this climb back up because that news doesn't say they're opening the mines back up. It doesn't say they're pulling ore out of the ground and that they're going to be continue making revenues. It didn't say that. But in saying that, coming down to that five minute five day there was a huge rip in this today and I got in this is when I saw it what time was that I saw that at 10.05 10.05 that's when I'm getting out of a play that if I'm in a morning play by 10.05 I am out because the market takes a dip and look look there is the dip. I wasn't looking for it. It just happens to be there while we're talking about it. There is that 10.05 dip that I always count on. So when I get into a stock, I run it up either 20% and this one ran um 170%. So boy, I might have gotten out of this one early. <laughs> May have. But in either case, at 10.05, she took that dip and she then continued on. Rolled down, tested her 20 and rolled back up. And she is in good position right now. She's just had a cross over here and is pushing up. We see our green coming and she is still up in the high 60s. So there's a lot of activity here. And I can't say that it is honestly justified. And I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Are people going to figure this out that the news isn't as good? Or did they just read it once? Because to do this video for you, I had to read it a couple times. <laughs> and it's like, are they telling me something good or are they telling me something bad? 
Well, it doesn't matter because it seems to be helping the price go up. So we ride the wave. We don't care if the wave come from a big boat or an earthquake or somebody sneezing. If the water is moving, get on it, ride that wave as far as you can and get off before it knocks you off. All right, let's go take a look at that second one that probably shouldn't have rose today either, but it did. So this stock is ticker ELRA, L Ray Resources Inc. Finished today at 0021, 61% gains. She's on the pink tier. She's current with all her green ticks too. So she's in great shape. Now they tell us that L Ray was originally a gaming company and now provides turnkey solutions for commerce companies all over the world. And that may be the case. I'm really not sure. Didn't see a whole lot about that. Didn't jump out at me today. But what did jump out at me today was this. This is over on the current market. I always search this and they've got trades over here. I can see how many trades the most active stocks have. And this one was, it may have been the most active on the entire market. It had 2,412 trades. How many people do you think that is? Even if each person did two trades, that's over 1,200 people. That's a crowd. Look at this, two trades one trade, four trades. So that caught my attention. And look at how many shares. 1.3 billion shares. That is outstanding. So let's come back to there and take a notice that I want to, <laughs> we better refresh this. All right, we did 11.6 billion shares on the entire market today. And this company got 1.3 billion out of 12,000 companies. This one company got 1.3 billion of that 11.6 billion. That's a pretty big chunk for one little company. So what was her relative volume? Well, we just said 1.3 billion compared to 19 million. So that is a huge increase. What is her share structure? Ah, uh, well, I can't tell here. Uh, I'm going to presume that we are at least about 2 billion shares, one, one and a half billion roughly. So they got a real high share count. Financials, we got zilch on the books. And disclosures, we got anything new over here that can help us out. No, 2019 and just our current filings. So I guess that leaves us with the news. Uh-oh. There is no news. No, I seen all that activity. It's like, well, why the heck is this thing running? So you know where I went. That's right, I went to Twitter. When in doubt, tweet it out. There are so many people over there looking for information that you're gonna get tidbits of stuff you may not find anywhere else. And that's what happened. This was the one that caught my eye. And I, this is the one I wanna share with you. This is a tweet and I don't wanna knock anybody here so I'm not pointing fingers. But whoever did this homework first did a real good job. Elra, article of merger. Anthony Goodman, same CEO of GMGI. Gorgeous share structure, no dilution in gaming already. Uh, authorized shares, 2.5 billion. Outstanding shares, 2.4 billion. Just starting. Great buy at these levels. And then they show us this piece of paper acquired, merging, acquired, survivor, NFT Inc. NFT is the company that they are being acquired by, right? So, El Rey is being acquired by NFT Inc. And they tell us a lot of good information over here. The CEO is the same CEO of GMGI. Uh, this is Golden Matrix Gaming. This is a gaming company that said they were going to uplist a long time ago. I've got a friend who's still waiting for it to happen. Hey, Ron. <laughs> and then he tells us, well, they're already in gaming. Right, right there, they're already in gaming. Because we heard that El Rey used to be a gaming company, and of course, NFT Inks, well, that's just right up the alley, right? That is the buzzword that's gonna catch everybody's attention. <clears throat> Wrong. <laughs> People jump to some conclusions here without doing their DD, without doing their homework. Look, folks, I went to their website. Yes, this comes off of the news. I got the website. This is a nuclear reactor company. NFT has nothing to do with non-fungal tokens. This has to do with nuclear engineering, designing them, energy refueling, manufacturing, building solutions. <laughs> there is nothing here about NFTs. So 
I think there was a big mix up today. I think people presumed that this was NFTs, non fungal tokens. So the thing just ran and ran because nobody's doing their DD. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll jump in on, on, uh, any hype i'll jump in on people getting confused between zom and zoom whatever money is money gains is gains but sooner or later people are going to figure this one out let's go take a look at that chart and see what it looks like so there we have elra six month four hour chart kind of a bit of a chocolate and vanilla thing going there we got a lot of strong gains the first half of the year all above the 200 and then something really brought it down, cracked through that 200, broke this stock's back, could not get back up, and has fallen all the way down here and was crawling on her knees at triple zero nine until just here recently when the news came out about the NFTs. Everybody loves NFTs. These things are hot. <laughs> Let's come down to the 20 day, 20 uh, one hour. All right, we can see that she has been riding right on the 200. Absolutely nothing going on. Took a drop here, didn't give any mind to it. Kept going straight across until that news came out about the NFT Inc. merger. It's excellent news. Everybody loves gaming. L raising gaming. This NFT company must be gaming with a name like NFT Inc. Who needs to do any DD, right? Let's come in on that five day, five minute. All right, she had a bump uh, two days ago. A nice one at that. Not quite sure what made her jump. Pretty much gave most of it back, and yesterday was asleep all day. And then came out the news of their merger with a nuclear radiation company that makes buildings and works with energy, not non-fungal tokens. But I don't think anybody read anything. They just saw NFT Inc. and presumed the best. And this stock tore it up. Went up almost 100% today from about uh, one and a half cents, one three, up to two eight. So maybe even a little more than 100%. And she's falling now. You can see the price is falling through all of the SMAs except the 200, which is down there waiting for her probably. We see the MACD is falling just like the price, a mirror image, RSI following pattern, doesn't look good. All the volume coming downhill, getting less and less. I think the darkness is gonna be pierced with the light of truth. I think somebody's gonna go look at the site and they're gonna put up a tweet and that's it. This is going to tumble. Do you like to short stocks? I don't short stocks. If you do, this is probably an opportunity right here because mix-ups can definitely cause big drops, but you can actually make a lot of money. Misunderstandings, miscommunications, badly poorly written PRs, uh, people getting confused between tickers, ZOM and Zoom, or just dyslexic, reversing the tickers. Whatever the arbitrage is, you can take advantage of these things and make money. You've just got to keep your ear to the grindstone. Listen to the buzz. There is lots of things happening out there and some things just don't make sense and yet they're making money. It's okay to take advantage of those situations. Just don't hang around. You know the truth. Take what you can get. Two pretty strange companies, both got gains and I don't think either one of them really deserved them, but gains were there to be taken. Whether it be confusion, mix up, bad PRs, uh, tickers just written wrong, it doesn't matter, take advantage of it. Don't feel guilty, we're here to make money. But do your DD, you see a stock running, it doesn't hurt to know the truth. You might find out that NFT has nothing to do with non-fungal tokens and you're gonna ride that wave and get out before it falls because everyone else thinks it's going to the moon because they don't know the truth. A little DD can go a long ways in protecting you, not just enriching you. Remember folks, the more you know, the more you're gonna grow. See ya.